So I'm Clark Tolleson, and I am a uh, advertising and promotions producer for a local uh, TV station here in San Angelo. And uh, my first video, I was 13, my brother was 14. We were in the back of our mom's van. We just saw a movie. We were reviewing it, like a 15 second video on on, on an old uh, Razer flip phone, <laughs> if, if anyone remembers. Um, and so we did that horrible video quality, horrible audio quality, but I was like, let's do it and see if it works. So I sent it over to this to the to my YouTube contact list and we got home. It was right there on my channel. I thought that was the coolest thing. And right then and there, I was like, OK, cool. I'm going to start making YouTube videos. And then it just progressed over to where my mom got me a flip video camera. I made all my YouTube videos on that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I made yeah, I made YouTube videos throughout all of high school. Uh, took it to school sometimes, took it to football games, whatever kind of events were going on. I would just shoot stuff and, you know, just kind of do some vlog style things. They weren't great. I mean, <laughs> when you're when, you, when you've been doing video for a year, you're not going to have great stuff. Yeah, around high school, freshman year, I want to say, I started making characters that I would portray. I always remember one of my characters that, that I created. He's one of my favorite characters I played, Cameron. And he was kind of one of those like kind of wacky, kind of me, but turned up to an 11 type characters. And then I added on a voice filter where his, where his voice was a little bit higher. But uh, I did that for a very long time. Uh, like I said, throughout all of high school. I, I, I've done like everything that I've really wanted to do with those characters. I started like <laughs> I started killing off some of these characters, not not on video, but more in explanation. Like, why is such and such not here? He moved to Paraguay to start his rap career. And I stopped playing that character ever since throughout college kind of focused more on doing vlog style videos i did a, a vlog with my family mostly my brother and we went to a kansas city royals game and i got some really good stuff so i was really happy with that vlog and i started doing that a little bit it never really picked up i just kind of started losing interest pretty slowly and i think especially it's just had to do with the fact that uh you know, I was focusing on, on school work, uh, focusing on, you know, part time work, volunteer stuff going on. So I couldn't really focus on my YouTube channel like I did throughout high school. My first paid gig, um, my mom, one of my mom's best friends went to church with either the, the, the head tech guy at the church or one of the like tech volunteer guys. And he owned a production studio in downtown Wichita. We, we talked for a little bit, kind of got to know each other, and he brought me on to be production assistant for the Shocker Sports Report uh, for Wichita State uh, University. And then he asked me to, um, he asked me if I wanted to do uh, camera work for baseball, basketball, and volleyball. And I was like, well, shoot, let's do it. Um, so those were my first, like, first real paid gigs doing something that um that 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 I love doing something that I'm passionate about uh, I reached out to a small independent wrestling promotion I'm a I'm a big wrestling fan uh so I reached out to the promoter and I told him hey I'm not a wrestler not athletic uh but I have video and editing experience if you want someone for any of your shows if you want someone to do production anything like that reach out to me I'm I'm always you know I'm always here so he reaches out to me like maybe an hour or so later. He tells me, hey, come by the training center and, you know, come, come, come meet some of the guys. I was like, OK, cool. So I went there, set up the ring for the for, that was the first time I set up a wrestling ring. That was pretty cool. And I had my camera with me and I would shoot some kind of like behind the scenes stuff. My first show was March 2017. Like I was thinking to myself, if this is the one and only time I do this, I lived I lived a bucket list uh, goal. So I graduated and then seven days later, I did a show in Wichita with a with, with a more bigger promotion, with a more bigger independent promotion. They had bigger names, names that I grew up watching. Um, and that was like really the first time where I felt like I made it in wrestling, which is weird because it's like. No, if you make it in wrestling, you go to WWE, you go to AEW, you go to these places. 
I'm just like, shoot, man, I'm glad I got to do camera work at ringside. I'm glad I got to work with uh, with, with my childhood favorites and the, 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 these men and women that I watched when I was a little kid in my living room. And I'm like, now you're right in front of me. And we're, we're discussing wrestling. We're discussing life. You know, shoot, they, they were asking some of, some of my ideas, too. And I'm like, this is great. This is so cool. So I did so I did several shows with them. It was fantastic. I got nothing but great memories. I did an interview here, a phone interview for uh, for a local station here. And then the next day I went out to the arena in Wichita and we did that show and I was like, "Hey, I'm moving to Texas." I was telling um Marshall Von Eric about that uh, son of the legendary Kevin Von Eric of the Von Eric family I said hey I'm moving to Texas uh, in two weeks he's like really I said yeah I'm gonna work at a TV station he's like oh brother that's so cool congrats so uh, so yeah outside of my family I think Marshall was the first one to know um, which which is which is crazy to think about um, but uh, but yeah so that was kind of the whole kind of path of how I started from being 13 to moving here to uh, to Texas and keep doing what I do. The primary things that I do at our local TV station, uh, I oversee local commercials and I, 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 I try to utilize our local talent as much as I can. There, there'll be some where you, where, you know, anyone that's local might be like, oh, she looks familiar. He looks familiar. I think a big opportunity for the film community in San Angelo would uh, be to, to network, uh, re reach out to people, whether it's in person, whether it's social media. I mean, there's so many people here that 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 love creative. They love they love art and film is an art. I, I've met so many people, so many incredibly talented people in town that have taken part in the Angelo Civic theater who have taken part in 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 b theater uh the san angelo performing arts center uh i met people at steamhouse entertainment and you know i i've i've, I've seen short films with with local talent and i'm like man y'all yeah, man i want to see these i want to see y'all like on bigger stages it's just to me this is just my opinion i think that um that that the power of networking gets you so so far in this industry um the, the 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 industry is not based on what you know it's who you know um and i've i've seen that I, i've seen that firsthand uh and and just like resources um is something that you know there, there's opportunities all around us uh there's people that that own equipment that that can be rented that can be borrowed i think that's another great opportunity that that could be uh, improved upon in the film community in San Angelo. The positives of San Angelo, the film community in San Angelo, is that we are not a big film hub. There's there because because San Angelo is small, there's more like I said, there's more opportunity to network and there's people that want to network and they want to talk and they want to know you who want to see this community thrive and grow and expand. And I think that's fantastic. I would end this by saying, get involved. Uh, get involved in the discussions, reach out to people, reach out to me. I, 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 I do local commercials. And there are times where I may want to use local talent. So get involved, do it now. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> Do it now. Do it. Oh, like it. All right. Like cool. It. Cool. I gave you like 10 different takes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of choices.